Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about multiplying fractions by a whole number. We're going to be building on previous knowledge of multiplication. Think groups of or copies of. We're going to be using repeated addition and visual models to help us understand what this might look like. So our first problem here, we have um, at a restaurant, Harry is getting ketchup for his family. He fills three paper cups with five-sixths of an ounce of ketchup in each. How many ounces of ketchup does Harry get all together? So this problem is about somebody gathering something, ketchup, into three cups, and each one of these cups is going to be filled with five-sixths of an ounce. Okay, so that important information is three cups and that five-sixths of an ounce. And of course, it's asking me how much is that going to be all together. So I can think about this as three times five-sixths. And one way I can solve it is I can use repeated addition. I can think of three groups of five-sixths. So I could say five-sixths plus five-sixths plus five-sixths, which gives us 15 six. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at another problem and solve it another way. Okay. All right. So this time in our problem, we have, we have Joel who takes two fifths of a minute to solve a math problem. He has five problems to solve. How long will it take Joel to solve all five problems. Okay, so I know he has five problems and each problem takes him two-fifths of a minute to solve. So I'm going to say five times two-fifths. Okay, um, I could use repeated addition here, but this time I'm going to kind of draw it out so you can kind of see what this might look like. Okay, so I'm going to draw some boxes here. So I have two holes and they each have five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm just going to shade in five groups of two fifths. So I have one, two, that's one group. One, two, that's one group. last, my fifth group here is one and two. So when I look at this, okay, I have one group, one group, another group, another group, and this group. So I have five groups of two-fifths, which gives me two holes, okay, or you could think about it as ten-fifths, okay, because five groups of two-fifths could give me ten-fifths or two holes. Okay. All right. Let's, we're going to look at solving another problem in another way. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at this next problem. We have Margaret has five bags of coffee beans that weigh one half of a pound. What is the total weight of the bags of coffee beans? Okay. So I know this is a problem about some coffee beans that weigh one half a pound. And I know some important information is that she has five bags, five one-half bags, okay? And it is asking for the total weight, okay? So another way that you can solve these problems is by using a number line. So five times one-half or five groups of one-half, okay? I can show you here. I have one group here, one group here, three four and five groups, which is showing me that my total would be five halves or two and one half. Five halves or two and one half. Okay. So as you begin to multiply these fractions, think about different ways that you can that you can solve these and different ways you can check your answer. Uh, you can use repeated addition, you could use a number line, and you could also use some drawings to help you.